Hello everybody, so today I just wanted to sit down and casually chat to you guys. So today I'm just going to share my current favorites. So starting off by this guy, the Essential Cream Fluid by Amore Pacific. If you follow my Instagram, you might have seen this everywhere from my Instagram stories and the posting. When I was working for Amore Pacific, this was the only brand that I couldn't get the employee discount. As you guys know, Amore Pacific is a prestigious, like really luxurious brand. I saw this on Sephora website. It was 90, it was 90 US dollars, which is pretty affordable for Amore Pacific. I'm not saying it's affordable. So there's something really unique about the formulating technology. I can't really pinpoint what it is. It is literally like a fluidy cream. So if you think about emulsion or any type of like fluidy lotion, it's mainly more like water, but this had a very well-balanced mixture of water and fat and essential fatty acids coming from the top of the top, like highest grade of the green tea leaves that they harvested. <laughs> they blended 150 leaves of baby green tea leaves into this little bottle. So it's very, very potent in antioxidant quality as well. So it really seems and beautifully however it never dries you out that's something that i was so blown away by because the texture is really really lightweight so it's perfect for any type of oily or combination skin who just doesn't really get along with a lot of moisturizers and it's perfect for summer skincare as well my skin's been really really adoring this product i would definitely repurchase the only downside is the fragrance and it can be a little bit overpowering to a lot of people but other than that i just love it and i would definitely definitely repurchase it without any surprise elta md uv clear broad spectrum spf 46 it's official, it is my holy grail sunscreen. I'm kind of mad at myself of not discovering this sooner in my life. I totally get the rave, I totally get the hype. And it's designed for acne prone skin and rosacea and for those who have discoloration and hyperpigmentation. It does contain a mix of zinc oxide as well as octane oxide. So it's a hybrid of physical and chemical sunscreen. It's well formulated, it's really cosmetically elegant. It uses a micronized zinc oxide, so it's fairly minimal in terms of the white cast and it blends in super easily it does pill a little bit um, but it's bearable so i kind of compromise in that sector it has five percent of niacinamide which is pretty potent and powerful amount of niacinamide for acne prone skin type to prevent future breakouts and some of you guys were concerned about the lactic acid content in it obviously lactic acid is a group of aha alpha hydroxy acid which is a chemical exfoliant and chemical exfoliants can raise the photosensitivity of your skin so it's normally recommended to use it at night they got back to me saying that it's totally safe to use in the daytime and it is supposed to be used in the daytime because it is a sunscreen they didn't fully disclose the amount of or the percentage of lactic acid that they use I do think it's less than 1% anyway so I don't think this is by any means an acid treatment or to raise your skin's um, photosensitivity so it's completely fine and it's not like Elta MD skincare doesn't know what they're doing it's a pretty credible cosmeceutical company so so I've been going foundation free for a couple of months I do occasionally wear foundation for filming or when I go to meetings and stuff but most of the times I would use the Elta MD sunscreen and then I would dab on some concealer underneath my eyelid and also just on some blotchy spots I think today I'm not wearing any foundation that's all concealer underneath my eyelid and sunscreen. But an interesting discovery is that a lot of concealers, since they're very opaque and very pigmented, they offer high coverage. When you want to blend that into your bare skin, it just doesn't play well together. So I've been having a very hard time experimenting with all of the concealers that I have. But then one of my close friends was highly recommending me this product, which is from Glossier. It is their stretch concealer. I adore this product. It just offers you this my skin, but a little bit better kind of look. It blends into your bare skin beautifully. It doesn't crease into any fine lines, which I was super blown away by. If you're someone like me looking for something low key and low maintenance, this is something that I would highly recommend. When I have to wear foundation, this is something that I would definitely, definitely reach for it, which is Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. It does come with broad spectrum SPF 15 with zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. 
oh my god this is actually made in Korea that's very interesting to know but it's like a very fluidy serum type of foundation doesn't feel like you're wearing anything it still offers a very good coverage like you wouldn't be disappointed with the coverage if you're looking for a more full coverage foundation but I like to sheer it out with using a wet beauty blender or a damp beauty blender it doesn't mattify my skin it doesn't look dewy on my skin it's just creates a perfectly healthy looking natural complexion without making you look like you are wearing foundation on. I've been playing a lot with my glitter eyeshadow so this is the Stila Magnificent Glitter Eyeshadow or Liquid Eyeshadow so it comes in like a liquid lipstick. Stila somehow figured out a way to make the perfect glittery liquid eyeshadow that's so pigmented but that doesn't crease on your eyelid and that's blindingly sparkly i adore this product it, i think it's like the best invention ever it, we have the last product so this is the mamong creamy tint color balm light in number three rosy brick so it's basically like a lip pencil which is a little bit balmy but it's quite pigmented it's something that i've been wearing a lot it's something that i'm wearing right now today and it's quite nice i don't know how to describe or kind of recommend a lip product but it's been it's been good <laughs> Just got back from lunch, just wanted to keep chatting to you guys. Um, so ever since I uploaded that minimal skincare routine video, it was just really amazing to see your responses. And so many of you guys have been seeing really, really good results by minimizing the skincare routine. And a lot of you guys have been actually taking that into action and tagging me on Instagram and using the hashtag skincare diet challenge. And I've been, you know, keeping up to date. I'm commenting on each single post and really encouraging and supporting you guys just mentally and morally and I do feel like when it comes to skincare routine there's really no set way or a correct way to do it it's just finding the right regime that works for you and I do think it's exactly like finding the right workout that works for your body type and your physical and metabolism or whatnot someone would enjoy yoga whereas someone would enjoy you know cycling and crossfit that doesn't mean that one is better than another it's just different and skincare experts dermatologists estheticians and even you know different skincare gurus they all have different philosophies different views and at the end of the day it's really up to you to build your own solid customized skincare routine that's really tailored for your skin type your lifestyle Style and also your environment so take whatever advice as a grain of salt and just tweak it a little bit according to your lifestyle and your skin type um, but I do believe that by doing the skincare diet challenge or just giving your skin a little bit of break for a certain period of time allows you to kind of realize where you're actually at with your current routine and strategize where you're heading to with the current skincare routine if that makes sense uh, i think i was just really overwhelmed and lost with my own skincare routine as well because being a youtuber doesn't allow you to settle down to a one solid simple skincare routine you have to constantly test out new products every other day every week and just looking at my shelf i'm being so stressed because there's so many barely used jar and yet I'm opening another one to test out without emptying one single bottle or a jar and I want to be an advocate to you know waste less and also I'm all up for the responsible consumption and I hate wasting products. What I eventually wanted to say was that just commit to whatever you love using and if the product makes you feel good, that's the best product that you can go for. It's so easier for us nowadays to be tempted to buy another product. Responsible consumption is something that I really, really want to advocate for. Yeah. I wanted to recommend two different YouTube channels that I love getting some health advice or health information, nutrients information. I'm a very huge believer in naturopathy and the naturopathic way of approaching illness and diseases and whatever symptoms that you see on a very surface level. It can come from your diet, vitamin deficiency, your lifestyle, your environment. If you're not really seeing any progress or results with your current dermatologist, visiting a naturopathic doctor can be an alternative way. And I think Chinese medicine is a very similar way of approaching things too. So Dr. Josh Axe on YouTube, he's amazing at providing um, health information and nutritional advice um, to every kind of diseases or every kind of skin conditions or health conditions. He always approaches 
with diet, nutrition, minerals, vitamins, everything. So he's a really good resource. Um, another doctor is called Dr. Eric Berg on YouTube. A lot of his contents really are heavy with health and diet and nutrition. I know they're not necessarily a skincare guru, however they are my best skincare gurus to be honest. I learned so much from them. Let me know your favorite resource in learning about new skincare information. I'll talk to you guys on my Instagram which is at aboutleahyu and thank you guys so much for watching this long vlog and I'll see you guys later. Bye.